Well, we're, we're excited. We're 12 practices in, and uh, with 16 players on the roster, it, it's afforded us uh, to, to have a really competitive summer. Uh, you know, we were at 15. We had the opportunity, uh, not under the greatest circumstances for her and her family, but to, to welcome an additional member in Alex Luring to our program uh, to be able to do two things. One, I think raise the competitive level uh, fr from top to bottom, and two, uh, for the first time in, in, in my tenure here, is, is have groups that have been through things multiple times. And, uh, you know, it's really, I think, played out in the fall. We, we have been a little bit uh, banged up, but to, to have a group where we have veteran leadership, people that have been through the so-called wars on the floor, uh, be able to work through, a, I think, a talented freshman group uh, that, that we're expecting. Again, we have eight young women who have not yet put on a Badger uniform uh, for a game that counts. Um, but I, I think to raise that level uh, each and every day, whether it's in the weight room, on the floor, and in, in individual workouts, uh, to make them better individually and, and then collectively better as a group. How has it gone so far meshing your returners with a group of new people who are coming in and going for their jobs and uh, learning the ropes at the same time? Well, I think it started in the summer. And, and again, I think it's easy to say, you know, that, that they've been competitive and at the end of the day still understand they're on the same team. I think the reality of it is I haven't taken anybody's playing time away from them yet from the veteran group. So uh, I, I think there, there is a maturity. Uh, it starts with Marsha Howard. Um, who, as we all know, is, is a player who plays with a high deal of emotion. Uh, that was something from a leadership standpoint we tackled starting in April of last year and how she can turn that, that energy into more positive energy. And I, I think always understanding with this, this group, uh, we, we started that. She, she read the Energy Bus by John Gordon uh, between the end of the semester and the beginning of the summer session. We did that book uh, together as a group with our coaching staff uh, and all the, the, the newcomers. And, and really, I think you saw some of the natural leadership come out uh, in the newcomers, come out in some of our veterans. Um, but I think an understanding when we're done with the practice, we're done uh, with, with a lifting session, a conditioning session, in the end, collectively, have we gotten better as a group? And, and make sure that's the common theme Understanding the only way that's going to happen is if they do go for each other's jobs and, and be able to push and claw and, and look at different combinations. And no, you'll have learning, you know, you'll, you'll have growing pains, but um, we need that. We, we need that, I think, you know, especially with, with some of our juniors. Uh, they haven't had to fight for the jobs that maybe the, the, to make them better, the, you know, the last two years. And, and that's definitely something I think they're being pushed. You know, and you have a little different with, with Alex, who has a year of, of basketball, at least practice experience under her belt. Kelly Carlos, who's played, you know, uh, sat out last year, but had played for three seasons at Ohio U, even though the one was cut short. You, you have, it's not just all of a sudden eight freshmen or eight people that are brand new to the program. Uh, you have people that are hungry. Grace Mueller's hungry because Grace Mueller hasn't had a chance to check into a game uh, as a Badger yet. And, and so I, I think that's been good. I think it's a good balance. But uh, you know what? I, I think you also need to, as we look at those combinations, know that, that we, we're going to make decisions that – I'm not trying to make decisions to make everybody happy. I'm trying to make decisions to make our team better. This is year number three for you at the helm of the Badgers. Now you're starting to get more and more of your own players. You're recruiting your players. Does that excite you? Does that get you fired up for your number three? I, I think it's exciting because I think you, you have a bigger dive into how you know the young women. Uh, I, I also know that that also means that's two years we've had an opportunity to work with, with the kids that were here uh, that came aboard as, as freshmen. We inherited as sophomores as well. So uh, I, I think the learning curve, you, you, you want – uh, you're never going to have uh, an entire 15, 16, 14, whatever your roster is, where everybody always wants to do the exact same thing. But, but when you have 12 and 13, it's a little bit of a teeter-totter effect that, that you have everybody in that same space. Um, but it, it's exciting because, again, I, I think that 
there, there always is a great sense. I think with youth, you always have excitement and enthusiasm. Um, sometimes you, you have a deer in the headlights look, and, and our job obviously is to is to cut down on that. But it, it's exciting because I, I think this group wants to be something uh, very special. Uh, and, and I think the you have a sense of urgency from people like Marsha Howard and Kelly Carlos that know this could be their last time through. And, and I think if you can add those excitements from both ends, uh, you, you're able to get that teeter-totter effect. So when they go out there, you know, an adage as opposed to having to practice is they get to practice. And, um, you know, as you go through and understand, you know, we had an opportunity earlier today um, with recognizing Coach Albright and her contributions and, and becoming a Cole Center legend. Um, a lot of her former players were back, and, the, and, and she asked them to kind of give some words of wisdom. And one of them, one of them said, when you're in it, you, you know, you, you, you think, oh, it's another practice and another lift. She goes, there wasn't something I'd give to do it one more time. And, and you hope you have that message uh, coming from a lot of different areas so our kids really appreciate it.